All right, Shalom Akim. All praises, all glory to Yahweh Bashmi Awa Shai. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, the great millstone. Shalom to the apostles. Peace and blessings to the elect. All right, shalom to the elders. Uh, I just want to do a quick lesson, man, and uh, just going to uh, how in these last days, the men of the Lord out here that's out here teaching this word and pushing this truth, okay? We're, we're getting ready to be... Uh, uh, sent loose, man. And when I say sent loose, I mean we're gonna go from from fishing for men through the word, you know. Uh, uh, you know we're gonna go from teaching, teaching the truth, teaching the gospel, the good news, to the elect Israelites out there, and we're gonna go to uh, to killing, okay, hunting, hunting and killing down our enemies, okay. Um. All right, because uh, in times past, all right, in times past, okay, the prophets, excuse me, the uh, the prophets in the middle were uh, sit out to teach the word, and as they taught the word, they were persecuted, they was locked up, they was beat, they was killed, okay, all right, by their own people, but. But this time around, this new generation, okay, the men of the Lord are going to be set up, okay, to set forth judgment amongst Israel, all right, okay. Now, now this lesson I'm I'm pertaining to the two thirds of Israel, okay, because the two thirds of Israel are going to be killed. They're going to be hunted down and killed by the men of the Lord through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, for their wickedness, for their judgment. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm gonna read the scripture here. This is Micah five and seven. It says, "And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people, as a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass, that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men." Okay. So the scripture says that the remnant, which the remnant is really the elect. We're amongst many people here in Babylon the Great, man. And that includes wicked Israelites. Okay? That through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, we're going to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to be hunting down the, uh, the wicked people here in America. Okay, and that includes Israelites. All right, so-called blessed man, the Native Americans. All right, for for refusing the word of the Lord. Okay. Now I'm gonna jump up. I'm gonna jump down to verse nine. It says, "It says, thine hand uh, shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off." Now the scripture talks about how, for the truth's sake, our people have become our enemies. All right. Let's see if I can find it. All right. Uh, right. Uh, no, let me see. It's a lucky. Right. This is a Romans 11 and 28. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 26. It says, and so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. But this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. But see, the way for the two-thirds of Israel, for their sins to be taken away, is through death. Because they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. They don't believe in the word. They don't believe in the prophets. So they have to die in their sins and then come back in the kingdom through being reborn through the elect remnant. Okay? Verse 28 says this. It says, as concerning the gospel, which is this truth now today, this good news that we've been given. It says they are enemies for your sakes. So the two thirds of Israel are our enemies. It says, but it's touching the election. They are beloved for their father's sakes. So the elect, the election is going to be delivered through all the hell and turmoil that's to come to America soon. But the two thirds are going to be had to uh, uh, are going to have to be killed. OK, and that's pursuing to. uh to uh, 
Micah 5 and 9, it says, Thine hand shall be lifted up upon thine adversaries, and all thine enemies shall be cut off. That includes Israelites. Okay, so for you people that, you you know, you other groups that say the GMS hates black people. and I, Yeah, we do hate black people. We, the only people that, we, that we're dealing with and that we love is the election. As Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah loves the election. Everybody else are enemies, man. Okay? They're all against us. And that's been proven time and time again whenever we go out to the streets. Starting with the apostles of GMS on down, we always meet opposition from our own people. And that's going back to the history, okay, of the, uh, 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 the prophets that have been before me and before the rest of us uh, uh, in the old times. Okay? So I'm going to go from here to uh, Jeremiah chapter 48 and verse 10. It says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. All right? So you're cursed if you don't teach the right doctrine, if you don't teach the right truth, who Yahweh Shai is, who the Most High is, Okay? That, that all the 12 tribes are not just black, but that includes the Native Americans and the Hispanic tribes, okay? That the Israelite foreigners are going to look like the other nations, okay? Cornelius is the Israelite, that the mark of the beast is the microchip, that the missiles, okay, that's the, the, uh, the uh, hellfire that's going to destroy America, that Babylon is uh, 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 America, Babylon the Great is America, okay? If you're not teaching those truths, then you're cursed, and also says, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Okay? All right? Now, it go, now I, I, I just looked this word up. Deceitfully means negligently. Because you're negligent if you omit certain parts of the truth or you add to the word. Okay? To the truth. So you're cursed. So you're going to be part of, part of those that get caught up in that sword, man. It says, cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. So you're cursed. Okay? You're cursed. If you don't put these uh, 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 these niggas to death, man, okay, all right, I'm gonna prove that. Let's go to uh, matter of fact, let's go yeah, let's go to Jeremiah 16. Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, "Behold, I will send for many fishes," saith the Lord. And they shall fish them. And that's the point where we're at now. We're fishing and we are bringing in brothers into these different camps. Okay. The different great millstone camps. Okay. It says, and after. So after we're done teaching this world here on the streets and, and uh, 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 things in, in America and around the world start to uh, uh, be shut down. Okay. You know, and different freedoms are cut off. All right. We're going to be changing to a, a, a whole new mode. Okay. Like the Transformers, we're going to go from just being regular, normal <laughs> on the road, okay? And we're going to turn into uh, to uh, 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 the actual Transformers and get to some action, man. Like uh, Optimus Prime and uh, Bumblebee, okay? And Drift and the rest of the uh, Autobots, you know? <laughs> we're the most highest Autobots, man, all right? It says, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them. From every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is there iniquity hid from mine eyes. So two thirds of Israel has a lot to pay for, man. Okay. We're going to have to hunt, the, hunt them down for the persecution of the prophets. Okay. All right. Now if I can go from here. Let's prove that the prophets dealt with uh, correcting the Israelites through force. Okay? So this is the book of Nehemiah. Right? Now this is something that the, the ancient Israelites did that they weren't supposed to do. And this is what happened with Nehemiah. It says, Nehemiah 13, 23. In those days also saw our Jews that had married wives of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language, which is the Hebrew Israelite tongue, the uh, Paleo Hebrew, all right? But according to the language of each people. Verse 25 is the point. And I commend, and I contended with them, and cursed them, 
and smote certain of them and plucked off their hair. Right? Curse means reviled. Right. And plucked off their hair and made them swear by the Most High Yahweh, saying, You shall not give your daughters and their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons or for yourselves. Okay? Alright? So the ancient prophets got down upon the wicked of Israel, man. And that's soon to come for us here, man. All right. Um, so, you know, the time for partying and bullshitting for Jake out here, man, it's coming to an end, man. All right. I'm going to get one more scripture. This is uh, Ezekiel, the ninth chapter. All right. Ezekiel chapter nine. All right. And I'm going to read verse four. It says, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others, he said in my hearing, all right, now, now the ones that, that sigh and cry to have a mark, that's a mark of exemption. Okay, let's see if I can get that. Because that's talking about the elect. Okay, which that word there is uh, thawa, which means mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. Okay. All right. Okay. Which is a spiritual mark. So it's a sign of exemption. For All right. And it says, uh, verse 5, it says, And to the others, he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So we're not to have no emotions for killing these Israelites out here, man, because they're wicked. Because if they had their way, they'd kill us. It says, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. So that means women, little babies, little kids, you know, because the kids mocked uh, Elisha. It said, go up thou bald head. And he set up a curse and two she bears came out of the wood and tear 40 and two children up. So the hell with these kids out here, man, these women too. It says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, which is of, of, of exemption, and begin at my sanctuary. Right. Which goes into those that know the truth. So a lot of you Israelite men, you Israelite women out here that's not right, we're going to get you first. It says, then they, you know, and those that know the Israel, man. It says, then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. All right? So, so there you go. All right? We're going to be turning to, hunt, uh, turning to hunters real soon. So with that, I'm going to end it there. We give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstone that rule well. Peace and best to the elect. Hope you were edified with the truth. Shalom.